This is a favorite place for me to paint. I've been all around this place, painted it from a number of different angles. Um, like I said, it's dangerous to be out there, so this next year I plan to uh, borrow a boat from a friend and get into it from the other angle. But this is the first one I've done really in the middle of winter when everything is died down. Right now, the winter green is coming back up through this. Uh, when did I paint this? October? No, later. I don't know. Sometime. The winter. Uh, I'm standing, interestingly enough, in about four inches of water with waders on. And the easel set up with cat food cats to put the feet in. Uh, the colors are so subtle here in the Northwest, uh, off-season. Uh, and these grasses just fascinated the living daylights out of me. And in this one, you'll see what I was talking about earlier, not painting the foliage, but painting the holes in it. If you look very closely at the fingerprints here, not mine, but the brushes, uh, you'll see things like this, which is a single brush stroke. Uh, and the thing that really surprises people when they watch me do one of these things is I use a really cheap half-inch uh, parts washing brush to paint a lot of this. You can buy them for a buck and a half at the hardware store. I buy them a hundred at a time. Uh, and these lavenders that Michael referenced earlier are the willows and the scrub alders alders out there. Uh, and then once again, uh, the hint of water and some place to go around the corner. And the grayness of it, uh, to me, is just... Uh, I had a dealer in Washington, D.C. for a few years who shall remain nameless, uh, but he said, a painter that can master grays uh, is truly a, a master.